Europe is a little continent made up of Eurasia's westernmost peninsulas, entirely in the northern hemisphere and mostly in the eastern hemisphere. Europe also shares the Afro-Eurasia continental landmass with both Africa and Asia. Europa was a Phoenician princess in Greek mythology, and it is common in ancient Greek mythology and geography to associate lands with female figures. Europa was the name given to a Roman province that roughly corresponded to modern-day European Turkey, and it was later expanded to refer to the entire European continent during the Middle Ages. The oldest piece of string ever discovered was made by Neanderthals in Europe 50,000 years ago. A 50,000-year-old piece of string discovered in a cave in France is the oldest ever discovered. It suggests that Neanderthals knew how to twist fibers together to make cords, and that if they did, they could have made many other items. Furthermore, given the ongoing discoveries of Neanderthal art and technology, it is difficult to see how we can regard Neanderthals as anything other than modern humans' cognitive equals. While the string clearly demonstrates the human ability to manufacture cordage, it also suggests a much larger fiber technology. Once a twisted, plied cord has been created, it is possible to make bags, mats, nets, fabric, baskets, structures, snares, and even watercraft. The cord is made up of fibers extracted from the inner bark of gymnosperms, most likely conifers. The inner bark's fibrous layer eventually hardens to form bark. Neanderthals would have had extensive knowledge of the growth and seasonality of these trees in order to make cordage. In fact, as the sap begins to rise, fibers become easier to separate from the bark and underlying wood. As growth continues, the fibers grow in size and thickness. Early spring to early summer are the best times to harvest fibers. After the bark has been removed from the tree, beating can aid in the separation of the fibers from the bark. Furthermore, soaking the fibers in water helps in their separation and can soften and improve the fibers' quality. The fiber is then separated into strands before being twisted into cordage. Three groups of fibers were separated and twisted clockwise in this case. The strands were then twisted counterclockwise to form a cord. To date, the cord fragment is the oldest direct evidence of fiber technology on Earth. Its creation exemplifies a thorough ecological understanding of trees and how to transform them into entirely different functional substances. Fiber technology would have been an integral part of daily life, influencing seasonal movement and mobility. Twisted fibers are an important technology. It was discovered a stone flake, a sharp piece of rock used as an early stone tool, three meters below today's surface, in a layer between 52,000 and 41,000 years old. The string appears to be made of fibers from the bark of conifer trees, which helps establish that it isn't a stray bit of modern string. That's quite surprising, because it implies that the string was not used for heavy-duty tasks, but rather as a thread. According to the study, the newly discovered string was made by Neanderthals, as it was believed there were no modern humans in this part of Europe at the time. Was this thread, however, created by Neanderthals or by another human species known as Homo sapiens? It appeared at first that modern humans were not present when Neanderthals developed this type of technology. However, by this time, modern humans had arrived in the Middle East and mated with Neanderthals, so there could have been informational exchanges that spread westward. This also begs the question of whether Neanderthals taught modern humans some of their skills, or vice versa. This cave is only 25 kilometers from Grot Mandarin, where modern humans lived between 52,000 and 57,000 years ago employing sophisticated mechanically accelerated projectile weapons. The oldest occupations of the cave occurred beneath a large cave roof that eventually collapsed, and the youngest occupations occurred beneath a rock shelter. During the new excavations among beds of limestone blocks, two main layers with distinct levels of occupation were discovered. Level 4.1 samples were dated between 40 and 46,000 years ago while level 4.2 samples were dated between 41 and 46,000 years ago, and 52,000 years ago, and the cordage is from level 4.2. The researchers believe the string demonstrates that Neanderthals were just as intelligent as us. Neanderthals performed complex behaviors that we thought they couldn't. The discovery suggests that people living at the time were capable of producing more sophisticated items than previously thought. Indeed, this adds to the evidence that Neanderthals were developing their own cultural complexity, which brings us back to the question of whether they were doing so entirely independently or under the influence of modern humans. 
nonetheless, the string could have been created by Neanderthals. They were skilled toolmakers with advanced societies and huge brains. They were subjected to adversity for extended periods of time. Neanderthals, for example, dissented the point of the Shoningen spears to increase strength. Furthermore, during the Middle Pleistocene, Neanderthals were producing birch bark tar. Based on this evidence, the use of tree fibers is an obvious result of their intimate arboreal knowledge. Although wooden artifacts are uncommon, other discoveries attest to the Neanderthals' intimate knowledge of trees. They chose boxwood for its density and used fire to make digging sticks around 175,000 years ago. Mastering fiber technology was a critical step in human evolution. It enables humans to assemble various objects and construct houses, composite objects, and hunt with bows. Ropes eventually allowed people to attach sails to canoes and create boats capable of traveling long distances. Archaeologists are interested in studying ancient fibers because of this, but their organic nature means that few have been preserved. The oldest ever found is the 50,000-year-old piece of string thought to have been made by Neanderthals. We know from observations of our own surroundings, ethnographic and ethnohistoric accounts, that the majority of human and Neanderthal material culture is made up of perishable materials. Obviously, differential material preservation contributes to this bias. Researchers have previously demonstrated that the microenvironment, immediately surrounding a stone tool, can preserve microscopic fragments of what would otherwise be invisible archaeologically. Neanderthals are frequently thought to be less technologically advanced than modern humans. With the discovery of birch bark tar, drawings on cave walls and shell beads, the notion that Neanderthals were cognitively inferior to modern humans is becoming increasingly untenable. Moreover, shell beads from Spain, which date back at least 115,000 years, are currently the earliest possible evidence of fiber technology. The site is a paleoanthropological and archaeological site located 60 kilometers off the coast of southeast Spain, approximately 1,000 kilometers southwest of the French site. The cave gained attention after a shell with an orange pigment that was at least 43,000 years old was discovered there. The pigment was interpreted as proof that the shell was used in an aesthetic and probably symbolic manner. The find was compared alongside similar finds from another Spanish and they were dubbed the first such Neanderthal jewelry discovered in Europe. The colonization of the Iberian Peninsula by modern man occurred only a few thousand years after the creation of the jewelry. However, the Iberian discoveries show that European Neanderthals were no different in this regard, contradicting genetic and cognitive explanations and strengthening demographic and social explanations. Shell beads could have been strung or tied to clothing as personal ornamentation, but sinew or leather could have been used instead of cordage. This is the last known location where Neanderthals lived, yet there is considerable probability of overlap between the human groups. Early modern human-associated material from North Africa and the Near East is widely accepted as evidence for body ornamentation, implying behavioral modernity. In any case, that is the problem that paleoarchaeologists and paleoanthropologists who study ancient artifacts and tools face. And, while they frequently agree on which tools and markings were made by humans and which were not, they occasionally disagree on which human species created them.